Hey everybody, old guy is out of the kitchen, and today we are in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, and I am, <laughs> um, I'm so excited because I'm eating at my absolute favorite burger place ever, <laughs> Vico's um, Charcoal Burgers, and the real little quick history about Vico's. They have been in the same location, uh, open for business since 1953. So this is year 69 for them. Uh, they'll be 70 years uh, next year. And their food is amazing. And if it wasn't, I guess they wouldn't be there for over a half a century. So uh, we got a couple different things today. Um, I got uh, my a double burger this time. Look at that thing. That is huge. I mean, that is no little burger. That, I mean, my palm barely covers that bun. Big pieces of meat, big patties. And they smell, I mean, this meat is amazing. Lettuce, tomato, there is onion in there. There's uh, mustard. And I'm going to add my own ketchup. So that thing, I mean, that's got to weigh three quarters of a pound or more. And this time, Mrs. Old Guy decided that she was going to try one of their char, uh, char steak. How, how was uh, it? Charcoal. Steak. Charcoal steak. So they got two steak sandwiches, a New York steak sandwich, and a charcoal steak sandwich. And so this also comes on a bun. Thick. Look at that. Mushrooms, cheese, the, the steak. This thing is loaded. This is a heavy, a heavy sandwich. Um, this old guy is not going to be able to eat all that. I'll guarantee you. <laughs> so let's give this a try. I've not had their steak sandwiches. The only thing I've tried is their burgers, and I'm just, I'm just hooked on them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what can I say to help you understand, my tongue is in steak sandwich heaven, it's just like falling in love. The meat is just melt in your mouth tender. The, the it's got that nice char charcoal flavor. Mushrooms taste like Swiss cheese. Mm. Grilled onion. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. All right. Miss old guy, you're going to love this. Yay. <laughs> so I'll fold it up. And I won't eat any more of your sandwich. <laughs> and before I get on mine, I uh, just want to let you folks know that um, if you should be coming into Colorado, especially from the West, uh, Glenwood Springs is located right on I Highway 70, Interstate 70, so it's super easy to, to just pull off and come into town. There's a lot of really cool attractions. They've got <clears throat> whitewater rafting to do. There is uh, the Glenwood Caverns, which is you know, a cave system that you can go check out. There's also Glenwood Adventures, which is a amusement park on top of a mountain. It is super cool. There's like a 20 minute gondola ride up to the amusement park. And there's they have alpine coasters and they have some of the scariest rides <laughs> you'll ever want to ride. <laughs> some of them will swing you way out 
over where there's nothing. I mean, it's straight down for a couple thousand feet. <laughs> amazing views, amazing park. It's a cool little town. And while you're here, you can check out Vico's, okay? So let me get on my burger. I'm gonna add just a ketchup, package of ketchup on the top of that. That looks really good. Oh man, you feel something amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It is worth every bit of the wait. It is worth the drive here, at least from our house. It's about 65 miles. Got to go over a mountain pass. <laughs> but for a burger like that, <laughs> it is absolutely worth it. Let's go here. Get that bite. charcoal flavor on this thing is just amazing it is unbelievably good mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man that is such a good burger it's for my for, for my personal taste it is the best burger I've had just about ever and for sure in the state in the state of Colorado it is just amazing okay I've got to get out of here my battery's dying I got to give this burger a rating and the sandwich the steak sandwich they are both going to get the super rare 10 out of 10 old man grunts <laughs> all right thank you everybody for watching i'm gonna get out of here and i will see you the next time i'm out of the kitchen bye